so it's exciting. Today our windows are going back on. <laughs> Excited? I feel like a yeah, boat again. Excited. And it feels like a construction site when you've got no windows. <laughs> you can talk? <laughs> Look what have we got down there. <laughs> We're just about to do our window, our first one using butyl tape. Uh, it's like a really sticky compound. They use it in car windscreens and it doesn't actually set. So people have said their windows have been leak free for like 30 years. What do you reckon, sweetheart? Leak free? We'll soon see. I hope so. Go to all this effort. It's been in the air conditioning so it's a little bit, um, a little bit hard at the moment. I've just got to try and flatten it out. Oh, you should have said it in the, is it in the sun? It's in the sun now. So yesterday we did the final top coat of our paint on the deck and on the cabin. Today we are getting a window on. Not our window, hopefully more than our window. <laughs> we got one window on so far. And Lee has put it on with his, what's the stuff he used? They call it butyl tape. We use it in car windows. Some of the old soldiers reckon they've had their windows for 30 years not leaked, so we thought we'd give it a go. I thought that sounded pretty good. But he's just put silicon on there too to blacken out the white so that we didn't see the white through the window. It's right, hey man? Yeah, and just to give it and a, little, to seal it up. a little neat edge down the side. Oh, a little neat bead. Oh, look at that. Hey. Looks lovely. So I've also masked up the inside and filled the gaps with some silicon. And Lee is peeling off this tape. The first window is done. Just took us all morning. <laughs> One window a day, honey. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> window number two. While he's putting on the sticky stuff on the outside. Sticky icky. Sticky icky. So it's pretty simple, hey? You just lay it around the window? Yeah, well, it's. Um, I've just been flattening it out a little bit. I've left it in the sun just to, um, so it's a bit easier to work with. Um, no tricks? No, it's pretty straightforward, I think. I can see how it doesn't actually set. So you can pull your window off in so many years later and it's still as sticky as it is, apparently. I don't know, I'm only going off what they tell me. I haven't tried it before. So could far, have, so good. Could have 20 windows all leaking, I don't know. <laughs> uh, nah. Window number two. It's a, it's a very slow process, we do know this. Yeah, it's just sort of, it's more just the preparation, like lightly sanded it then you get it clean with spirits and everything's just got to be spotless because one little bit can just yeah make it leak you don't want that we don't we just went to so much effort to have a not leaky boat and guess what after this you won't be able to sing your little song it's been six months on a leaky boat well you could because we've definitely had six months on a leaky boat <laughs> You can see you've had four years on a leaky boat. <laughs> so, we've got two hatches done today. Uh, two hatches, two um, windows. Yeah. And over here, also got cabin top ready to go back on. Just got the handles to go, but I'm varnishing them. Sarah to give me a lift with that. Where is she? No. You want to come up and give me a hand, sweetheart? Okay. Yeah, that was an easy way and a <laughs> flexible way of coming up. Oh, God. <laughs> and a dangerous way. I'm going to do it. I don't know if that's a good example. Bella, is the mummy set for Bella or...? <laughs> Right. <laughs> there we go, lids back on. There's one little funny bit about here somewhere. You see that? Jeez, what happened there? You know when there's one little ripple that's just not quite right and you think, oh, should I or should I touch it or not? 
You should leave it alone. <laughs> Got both our windows on. No more windows necessary, are there? Going down to the cutting station and get some more going. Yeah, so we got new windows to cut there. That will have new windows on the front and new little ones, but we've still got some of the old, ugly old ones. We couldn't afford to get all of them. We could only them. afford one sheet. <laughs> we thought one sheet's better than no sheet. Yeah, that's all right. Our main ones for vision out the front. Yeah, we couldn't yeah, see. Maybe, Haven't seen for four years. Maybe one day. All right, so uh, it's a day on the hard stand and I am in the kitchen washing up after breakfast and actually some parts of dinner because it was slack last night and had some drinks with our friends. Um, it was one of their birthdays so uh, we are a little bit behind today but I just wanted to give you a little insight on my day. Uh, I was washing up. I'm trying. I've been trying to wash up for like an hour but the kids are both doing their school work at the moment so they need help every now and then and then Lee knocks on the hull because he needs help. So he's just knocked on the hull and wanted water. I've got to go down and film him. Um, Taj needs a hand with his mats and Bella's actually doing okay on her own at this moment. But the washing up is still not done. The kitchen is an absolute mess. I just opened um, this Yeti bottle and found and I found a smoothie that <laughs> was in there from probably days ago, which is a bit gross. It was very gross because someone had put it back where they live, but it was not washed out. <laughs> it was gaggable. Um, anyway, let's see how long it takes me to get this washing up done. So I'm now going to go down and film Lee cutting windows because he's been cutting windows all morning. We've got two windows on yesterday and we are about to put the rest of them on today but he has to make them first so let's go see how he's making the windows Just coming down to see how you're making these windows. Well, I'll give you a bit of a look at what they look like. These are the new windows. Oh! <laughs> Show everybody the flexibility of that window. So these are the windows of these our like, top cabin. Yeah, they're 10 mil. The old ones are always concerned when the waves have hit them. <laughs> what was that guy who used to play the thing? What was that wobble board? Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. <laughs> That's what it's like. They're really terrible, and I don't know if you can you can you can hardly see through. Well, we, we can. But they're not very good, especially when the sun's on it, see all the little... Yeah, that's... that's better. <laughs> yeah, there we go. They're about to get replaced with these new ones that Lee's cutting out. And he's cutting them out himself, and he's doing a really good job. So what are you using there to cut it? Circular saw? Oh, here's some he prepared earlier. Oh, here's some... <laughs> Pretty much just cutting them with the circular saw, giving them a light sand with the um, about a 120 grit and then giving them a wet rub about 300 grit. Job done. Ready to glue on. And they are a very big improvement on our other windows. These are our originals. Had to sort of make our own shape up. They're pretty roughly cut the originals. All different corners, so I made them a bit more symmetrical. Again, they, were, they weren't too bad, but yeah, they, they were bad. leftovers material out of the sheet, so we thought we'd do our little ones. Yeah. We were just originally replacing our, our front three big windows, but we did end up having enough to do some little windows. 
as well, and we're not replacing all the ones which we wish we were because they're yeah, they're <laughs> not too bad. But... They're not too bad, but they're going back on these ones. Didn't have enough money for another sheet, so no. we have to just run with that. Yeah, that's all right. They'll make do. There's no way she'd crash on the side, hopefully. <laughs> they're 10 mil anyway, those ones. Oh, are they thicker? Yeah. No. There was a bit of a mismatch going on with all the windows. Bit of, bit of Catalpa style. Mismatch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll leave you to it, honey. So what do you do? You just cut it out with this this bad boy? Yep. Circular saw. <laughs> Yeah, most people use a jigsaw. I do the corners with a jigsaw, but you can just get a perfect edge working off a straight edge. Yeah, so he cuts it with the circular saw, then he uses his jigsaw. I'd say the originals were cut out with the jigsaw and they're just real wonky. So you'd recommend using a circular saw? Yeah. Circular saw at the straight edges and then use jigsaw to round the corners. Yeah. And then you saw for the corners and I run about a 120 over the whole lot, over all the edges, and then I wet rub it with wet and dry sandpaper just to buff it up. You're amazing. No, uh, that's about it. Set up some new windows on, but I keep moving because we're really We're running behind time. time. Alright. Uh, you get back to it. Yeah. And you don't need me until we put them on, right? Uh, a bit of wet rubbing for you to do. Okay. No worries, I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> so it's about um, one o'clock. Finally got the washing up done. I've just been editing for a little bit. And I'm just coming up because our friends off Impetuous 2, the family that we met here, they're actually getting put back in the water today. Their boat's getting lifted up. You guys are awesome. They've got two little kids and they've traveled from America. Um, on their boat and they've been working here on the hard stand and got like a, a one-year-old and a two-year-old and it's, it's amazing they just go up and down the ladder and Ruth packs on two kids all this gear bag of washing walks up and down the ladder and just pretty amazing yeah it's really really nice to get to get to know them so it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just going around to making lunch. The kids have gone down to help Lee sand the windows so they're doing all the wet sanding around the edges of the windows. Um, that's it. Yeah so just making some stir fry for lunch or afternoon. But we usually have lunch about three or four because we're a bit slow. Sesame seed oil. Wait till it gets really hot. Almonds. And I'm going to toast them or fry them up with the garlic and the onion. So I've just made a sauce here and I've put some fish sauce, a little bit of a sweet chilli, oyster sauce, soy, a bit of sesame oil and a little bit of water. I added mushrooms, stirred them in, chopped tomatoes, popped them in, stir them in and add the sauce. That is almond and vegetable stir fry. So Lee's finished the windows, so um, we're now putting the windows on. Uh, I was editing, as you can see, I have more washing up to do. So the windows is a two person job, but Lee is doing most of it and so there's a lot of me waiting time so I just did the washing up while I was waiting and uh, he's ready for me to, uh, to hold the screwdriver in the back of the screw so it doesn't move and he can tighten it all up. So we got two windows done again and Lee had to go down and sand these ones so I've been editing. <coughs> so this one is some Mentawai's. At Macca's is like my favourite place to surf. Windows and more windows, baby. So we've done four windows. <laughs> we started earlier today, maybe we'll get them all done today. <laughs> windows are a pain. They're a pain. It's a process, but you don't want them to leak, so. 
two at the one time. Woo! Getting stuck down the side. Such a big guy with big shoulders. He has struggles in the smaller spaces. <laughs> Need to do some yoga with me, babe. Yeah, fix myself after this. Okay. Remember our windows, our windscreen? Our windscreen. I don't know if it's called that, but the windows on our top cabin. Um, remember we couldn't see out them very well? We have one in and it looks so much better. We can actually see. Do they take forever to do? Hey babe. Forever. Forever ever. So there we go, we got one in. Got our front windows back on. That one back on. And Lee is totally bummed he didn't get enough to do all of them. <laughs> he put two other ones on today and they were the old ones so we didn't replace them. There's some help there, love. There's our preparation. We mask up our external line and the internal one there is where the sticky sticky is going to go down. We can tighten up, we can wipe off and it'll all be neat and tidy when we remove that. The result gives a nice tidy edge like that. Is that how you do it? That's how you do it and he makes me do all the yucky sticky work because I don't know. We've actually just got a little bit of sicker flex to make it look black either side so you can't see the white. Yeah. But that's our stuff oh. here. It's a little bit messy this one. <laughs> so Lee's just wiping the excess of uh, the silicon. It's been squeezed out. Oh no, you made a bead. So it was nice and neat around the edge. Mm, we lost it. <laughs> then we take tape off and that one's done. So three windows. We've done four, five today, hey? We did our record of two. <laughs> Still we're gonna squeeze another one in too. Yeah, we had a run of doing just two windows and we didn't feel like we were getting anywhere, but Today we're doing all right. Look at that, eh? Oh, look, we can actually we can, see. This is the first time in Catalpa that we've been able to see out the front. <laughs> Look good. <laughs> this one's got to go on the end. <laughs> oh, we should have that. Should be right, mate. All right. So we're on our final two windows. Woohoo! The windows have been the biggest pain in the ass. They've taken forever, but. We finally have all our windows back in. Catalpa is becoming one again. Instead of pieces all everywhere. All thanks to you all. Feel good? Yeah. She's hot again. Another hot day. Next up, we get the decks ready and show you how we Kiwi grip our deck. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked that episode, please remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.